three. Welcome, this is Steve Carter from Rapid Set Metal Buildings. Today we're going to be talking about wind bracing. A little more technical than some of our other videos. There are several different ways of bracing a steel building. Now in pole barns in the past, panel shear has always been the main bracing of the building. Well, that works when your your stubs and your or your studs and your rafters are 16 inches, 24 inches on center. It works fine. The steel outer shell actually becomes a very, very large member of adding the rigidity to the building. Plus the fact that the base of the of the columns are embedded into the ground. But we're talking about a steel building now, which can very much have a domino effect. Embracing is very highly required, but it gets kind of technical at times. Now, this is our typical bracing, be it an end wall or on the side wall. It's our cross bracing. Now, this can come with cable. It can come with rod. It depends on your seismic conditions, the height of the building, and the wind force that the building is seeing. Uh, cable is the nicest, the cheapest, easiest way in the world to go. But what happens when a customer has a requirement for framed openings in every bay? Now we have no room for any of our conventional or cross bracing types, <laughs> our portal frames. The portal frame is a U-shaped steel member with I-beam construction that will bolt into the web of the columns and go horizontally across the top. This is probably one of the best other than your cable bracing that you could want. It does not make contact with the foundation. It is bolted into the sides of the columns adds a stiffness factor so that the, the swaying ability is gone, but it has a restriction, and that is if you have a framed opening in there, now you're suddenly not two feet away from the eave height, but you've got to be two feet away from the bottom of that horizontal member, or your door's not going to fit in and work properly. So there is a height restriction with that. The other option is what we call a wind column. Now a wind column is once again an I-beam column that is bolted into the side of the building column. The problem with this is it also bolts into the concrete. Now here's kind of a rough sketch of what I'm talking about. It'll be flared on the bottom, it comes out and it'll bolt into the foundation. Now that is to stop the sway. That's what wind bracing is all about, to stop the sway. Here is the problem that we face with this, and that is the moment, the force that is going to be rocking this will cause a huge uplift on the wind post itself. The, restrict the problem that you face here is going to be a massive concrete requirement underneath a wind column. So your portal frame is going to turn out to be a better way to go. It's a little more expensive if you look at the building cost. But if you look at the individual cost, you're going to find that the concrete is going to just completely overrun this as an option or a viable option. One other one that we have for an end wall, if you're taking all this up in, in framed openings, is we can either make it a rigid frame, which is going to add cost to it, because a rigid frame will stop any kind of lateral movement, or we can go to what's called um, a column to frame. And that is, we'll take the cross bracing back to the very next frame and support the end wall that way. So we have options as far as wind bracing, but there's where we really need you to work with us, let us know what you're going to be using the building for, where the framed openings are, and we've got to decide which is going to be the best option as far as wind framing goes because the steel building needs it. If back to our, our wood buildings, you're taking 16, 24 inches on center, this, the outside sheeting was enough. But you notice in steel buildings, we'll have 20, 25, 30 feet in between columns. 
your first girt may not start for seven and a half feet. There is not enough behind the sheeting to ever want to use panel shear. So we start talking about our different options and how we can use them. And that's where we work together with you to find out what's going to be the best for you. And please join us again on our website. This is Steve Carter saying so long.